kante de babozia le posha kalaba kante de babozia greeting people of god i'm so happy to meet you in this program and i want to share with you briefly in this new month that the lord has given us this sixth month i know there is something that the lord has put in my heart and i am going to share it with you and the lord is going to bless you uh, the Bible says in the book of Ruk chapter number 1 verse number 26 listen to me here Ruk chapter number 1 verse number 26 in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city called Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph and of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary and he came to her and said El O favored one the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you conceive in your womb, and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he will become the son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him to the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How shall this be done since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. The Bible talks about uh, the historical account of the birth of Jesus Christ. Through, uh, for Christians, we know that the birth of Jesus Christ, it was supernatural because a man was not involved in conception. It all involved the Holy Spirit. Jesus was conceived through a virgin called Mary under the power of the Holy Spirit. And my main point at this particular time, remember that the event and the news about the conception of Jesus, they were brought by an angel during the sixth month. And the name of this angel was Angel Gabriel. People of God in the kingdom of heaven, we have the ministry of angels. Angels are simply messengers of God. They are sent by God in order to bring news to us as human beings. They are spirits. They have no body. They can be able to go at any point. They can be able to enter at any place in order to bring a message from above. We have a category of angels that start as a department of sending good news. They are called the category of angels that belong under Angel Gabriel. It is not one angel. There are many angels because in the kingdom of heaven, there are more angels than human beings here on earth. And each and every day, God is continually, the kingdom of heaven is continually sending messages on earth to human beings, to people of God, to believers, to Christians. The angels are always busy sending messages day and night. Now, another category of angels they are angels that under angel Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is in charge of protection, is in charge of fighting for the battles of people of God. If you read the Bible in the book of Hebrews chapter number one, Hebrews chapter number one, verse number seven, the Bible says, Of the angels he says. Who makes his angels winds and his servants frames of fire? But of the Son, he says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The righteousness scripture is of thy kingdom. Hallelujah. He makes angels like winds, like spirits. This is about the kingdom of God. Angels are there. You better believe. They are in charge of your welfare as a human being. If you are trusting God, if you are in Christ Jesus, there is always be a hygienic cover on top of you. And the Bible is speaking to us that in this particular sixth month, 
Angel Gabriel was sent by God with good news to the Virgin Mary. Listen, if you read the Bible in the book of Jude chapter number 1, verse number 9, you understand about another category of angels. They are called, they are angels that are under the department of Archangel Michael. Jude chapter number 1, verse number 9, when the Archangel Michael contending with the devil disputed about the body of Moses, he did not presume to pronounce a reviling judgment upon him, but said, The Lord rebuke you. This was Angel Michael, Archangel Michael, Jude 1 verse number 9. He was sent when uh, Moses died because he was a man of God. And there was a battle between Satan um, and the kingdom of heaven because they wanted, they said that Moses was not a good person because he had, in one way or the other, did not do what God had told him to do. But because he was a righteous man and he was the most humble person here on earth according to the Bible, that is Moses, Angel Michael had, been, uh, had to be sent to claim the body of Moses. And he went and he, he did not pronounce judgment upon Satan. But he said, may the Lord rebuke you. So, listen to me, a believer. In this six month now, I'm talking uh, another category of angels. They are angels that are in charge of praise and worship in heaven. They are called seraphims and cherubims. Hallelujah. Now I'm talking about uh, the sixth month. The sixth month is a month that is pregnant with good news from heaven. Jesus is sending good news here on earth for us as people of God. I know we have been through a lot. We have been through a lot, particularly in this pandemic. But the kingdom of heaven is sending good news to us in this particular month. It is symbolic. Hallelujah. Listen to me wherever you're watching this broadcast. In this particular month, there is angel from the kingdom of heaven that is calling good news to you. Hallelujah. Listen. Good news, they pertain your prosperity. They pertain your healing. They pertain your deliverance. Hallelujah. I'm trusting God that during this sixth month, the Lord is going to break every spirit of fear. Remember when the angel visited Mary, he said, do not fear because the Lord is with you. It is simply means that the spirit of fear is being broken. The angel said, Mary, do not fear because the Lord is with you. Do not be ashamed. Mary, Mary was saying that, how am I going to conceive yet I'm a virgin? There is shame that is going to overcome me. But the Bible says, the angel assured Mary that these things were planned from heaven. Hallelujah. Meaning there was no shame. Hallelujah. Listen to me, a believer. The Lord is going to give you connection of new friends, connection of new people that are going to start with you in whatever you are going through. Hallelujah. New business connections. Hallelujah. New employment connections. This is the month of good news. Maybe the, the, the pandemic has overshadowed you with bad news. But the Lord is assuring us in this particular month. And he has sent me to speak to you. There is good news. Even the pandemic is ending in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. This is good news. The Lord is giving us out of this situation. Listen to me. The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk, chapter number 3, verse number 2, Lord, I have heard your fame, and in the midst of the year, remember mercy. Habakkuk is praying unto the Lord, and he is saying, Lord, I have heard your fame, and in the midst of the year, remember mercy. The sixth month is the midst of the year. It is in the middle of the year. The mercy of the Lord is coming upon us. The Lord, the kingdom of heaven is releasing mercy upon us. Oh, mercy, Lord. The Lord is going to release his mercy. And he is going to show us a way out of this. If you are Christian, if you are a believer in Christ Jesus, know that you are secured. There are angels that 24 hours are in charge of your life. They are in charge of your welfare. They are in charge of your family. They are in charge of your health. You just need to invoke the kingdom of God to act. 
Hallelujah. Listen to me. If you read the book of Revelation chapter number 10 verse number 1. And I saw mighty angel come down from heaven. I saw a mighty angel come down from heaven. We have mighty angels that come to fight for us believers. And this during this particular season, the Lord just wants you to pray. Lord, give me a Jeric cover. Give me these mighty angels to be in charge of my warfare. To be in charge of my welfare. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of living God. And I'm praying for you, my brother, my sister, wherever you are watching this broadcast, that the Lord is going to release the ministry of mighty angels. Mighty angels that are going to fight all the battles that have been pursuing you and give you victory. Battles in your ministry. The ministry is something that the Lord has put as a calling inside you. It is in a person. Maybe you are watching me and you are passing a, a, road, a road through your ministry. The Lord is sending mighty angels to fight for you. The Lord is sending mighty angels to fight for you in that marriage situation and give you victory and give you peace. Hallelujah. Desire this ministry of angels. They are there and they operate. Hallelujah. Ask for the, the for all the angels that bring good news under Angel Gabriel, all the angels that release protection under Angel Michael, all the mighty angels that are in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. When we pray the Lord's Prayer, we say, Let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. And I'm making this prayer. Let the kingdom of God come upon you with a jeric cover as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Listen to me, people of God. Get ready for what God is about to do for your family. Get ready for what God is about to do for your ministry. Get ready for what God is about to do for your children. Remember that death is not your portion. Sickness is not your portion. Suffering is not your portion. You are protected. You are preserved. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of living God. Remember, in the sixth month, the angel came with good news. Hallelujah. Listen to me, a believer. I'm so happy because I know deep inside my heart that there is good news that is coming to you. Hallelujah. Maybe you have been suffering through sickness. You are in the bed of sickness. Let me surprise you, viewer. The angel of God is visiting you at the bed of sickness. Get ready for your healing. Listen to me, a people of God. We have spare parts in the kingdom of God for every organ in the body. Every organ in the body. Angels are bringing spare parts to you. Angels are bringing spare parts for your liver. Spare parts for your kidney, spare parts in your heart, spare parts for blood, for your blood, spare parts for your skin, for your bones. Hallelujah. You are getting brand new spare parts, courtesy of the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. If you read the Bible in the book of Luke, chapter number 1, verse number 37, listen to me. Yeah? The Bible says like this, viewer, for with God nothing will be impossible. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Hallelujah. Be strengthened, viewer. For with God, nothing is impossible. You can make it. You can win that battle. You can be victorious. Your destiny can shine again. You are the next big thing people are waiting for. Hallelujah. You are the person that your community is waiting for to deliver them from that bondage. You are the person that the country is waiting for to deliver that nation. You are the person that the continent is waiting for to deliver that continent. You are the person that the four corners of the world are waiting for to deliver them from bondages of the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. Listen to me, have you people of God. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 1, verse number 9, Thou hast loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God 
thy God has anointed thee with the well of gladness beyond thy comelins. Because you love righteousness, the Lord thy God has anointed you with the well of gladness beyond your peers, beyond your comelins. Hallelujah. Listen to me, people of God. Because you love righteousness, the Lord God has anointed you with the well of gladness above your peers, beyond your comelins. Hallelujah. You are going to shine. Hallelujah. I'm talking to that child. You are going to make it in that academics. It doesn't matter that schooling has stopped as a result of pandemic. But listen to me. The Bible says that God gives knowledge. God gives wisdom. The Bible says in the book of Daniel chapter number 1. That to, the, to, the, to, uh, to, uh, to Daniel... The Lord gave him knowledge and wisdom to understand Babylonian literature and academics. And they outshined the rest. God is the giver of knowledge. The same God can give you knowledge tonight. He can give you knowledge in academics. You are going to pass. It doesn't matter even if you are cut it. You are going to pass. Believe in God. Believe in Jesus. Believe in what the kingdom of heaven can do upon you in this particular month. Hallelujah. I'm talking about good news for your favor. Good news for your progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray with you before I end this sermon. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of living God, we have reached to the, the sixth month, the middle part of the year. Lord, there are blessings that you had planned for us from the month of January, but the enemy managed to hinder our blessings. Father, I pray this particular hour, let those blessings be restored back in the name of Jesus. I pray for this viewer. Restoration of the, all the blessings that you are supposed to receive from January to now, we are in the midst of the year. Receive your blessing in the name of Jesus. Receive restoration. Receive good news about your hearing. Good news about your employment. Good news about your promotion good news about your marriage good news about your relationship in the mighty name of the lord jesus as you're connecting to the screen receive good news about change from state of sickness to the state of being or oh, again divine health in the name of jesus christ son of living god i open doors of blessing doors of favor in this sixth month, the Lord is going to bless you and keep you. I release the anointing and the power. The Lord is doing something for you this sixth month. The Lord is releasing the ministry of angels to protect you and to give you good news. Angel Gabriel is locating you this month. Archangel Michael is descending and fighting all the battles that have been happening in your family, that have been happening in your destiny. Archangel Michael is fighting those battles. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of living God, the kingdom of heaven is coming at your mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of living God. Receive the blessing of God in Jesus' name. Maybe you are not born again. Repeat this prayer after me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I repent my sins. Write my name in the book of life. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. You are born again. Live a life of righteousness and the Lord will anoint you with the help of gladness. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you, viewer. I love you so much. And the Lord is going to bless you. Keep watching Apostle Martin Mutueri online ministry and the Lord is going to bless you. Also give God all the glory for my partners and everybody that is standing with me in my broadcast and in my online ministry. God bless you. I love you in Jesus name.